Hi fishy folks and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Guys, before we get started, you know the drill. Obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently caress the notification bell. And of course, check out michaelsfishing.com. When we're all done, after you watch the video, cool guppies and plecos, you can buy t-shirts there. And uh, of course, probably your last time to order this year before we stop shipping due to the weather. Today I wanna to talk about how to make money selling guppies. Just a quick history lesson here, folks. Uh, a little more than two years ago, I was um, watching YouTube. I hadn't had fish tanks in quite a while, um, probably about four or five years. The last tank I had was a 55 gallon with a couple of discus in it and a pleco. And uh, when I lost the discus, I got really depressed about the hobby and I stopped. And I was watching YouTube. Um, I forget what for, but I came across uh, Corey from Aquarium Co-op and Joey, the king of DIY. And I started watching their videos. And what Corey pretty much taught me was you could breed guppies for profit. And so I thought, that's not a bad idea. I like profit and I think I can breed guppies. It's pretty easy. And so here in my basement fish room, um, and there might be some old videos when I first started that really suck. If you want to laugh, go watch them. Um, but I started with a few different tanks. I, I found a tank on Craigslist. I went to garage sales. I bought cheap stuff. And they were just on stands up against this wall here behind you. And I started with angelfish and guppies and I, you know, I started just started to raise them and as I watched more of Corey's videos, he, he did that video on the easy uh, shelf system where you don't need any tools, cinder blocks and two by fours, which is the construction I use here, as you can see. Um, and it was pretty easy. And so I started to design a fish room and I started to design the auto water change system and realized that's kind of really what I like. I love the building and the tinkering and long story short, boom, the fish room. And uh, there are videos of the beginnings of the fish room, which I'll, I'll try to put links up there and I apologize for their bad, bad video-ness, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, I started uh, breeding guppies, trying to breed guppies, and I didn't really have an outlet for them. I was gonna sell them to my local fish store, but um, not thinking straight, he sells me fish dirt cheap, which means he buys them dirt cheap. So I actually lose money if I sell my local fish store guppies um, because I still have to buy food and pay for water and pay for heat and pay for electricity. And so it doesn't work. <coughs> I'm fine. So I decided I was going to, at first I decided I wasn't going to sell online. I was just going to sell through auctions and I would raise enough guppies and go to enough auctions where I could make enough money through the year to make it worth it. And while well, that just didn't happen. While I love the auction atmosphere, I love seeing all my fishy friends, I love supporting local clubs, for me as a business, it just didn't make good sense because there was no minimum I could sell for. Um, and it just, it just wasn't practical. So that's why I decided to start shipping fish. If you're going to ship fish, you need a couple things you need to plan. Let's talk about the selling outlet, which is the website, michaelsfishroom.com. You need a website to sell nationally. I do know there are some people that just use Facebook. I think Guppy Train is one of them and he must be successful, um, but not everybody has Facebook. It's amazing how many people I know that don't have a Facebook account, which means they would never ever be able to order guppies from you if you just had Facebook. So if you want to be able to sell guppies and make money at it, just word of mouth may be enough for a small percentage of what you could sell. But really in order to sell, you need a website. And so let's talk about a couple things right now that we've already talked about. You have the expense of buying your stock the expense of feeding your stock, the expense of water, electricity, and heat for your tanks. Now you have a hosting fee for your website. Um, you are gonna need some sort of equipment to take pictures of your guppies to put on your website. Now, um, it's one of the reasons why I upgraded my 
from my phone to a very good camera, pretty good camera, uh, that was expensive. <clears throat> because in order to take really good pictures, you need a good camera. And actually you need a pretty good lens. The kit lens just didn't do it for me, so I bought another lens. So there you go, that's, that's all the basic stuff you need, right? <clears throat> but the other thing that a lot of people forget is you need time. So I'm in the fish room probably at a minimum of half an hour a day, at a minimum, just to come down and feed twice, that's it. But while you're down here, or while I'm down here, I should say, oh, I see that tank needs some quick maintenance, let me vacuum up the moan, or oh, that sponge filter's not bubbling enough, let me clean that out, or something. Oh, let me move these tanks around, let me combine the mutt guppies into six tanks instead of 10 tanks, or whatever they take up. These are all things, as a fish room keeper, you kind of need to have time for. Now, if you're one of the fish room keepers who like to keep every tank meticulously clean, not me, you're going to spend a whole heck of a, lot of a lot more time in your fish room. Then, when you sell fish, you need to be able to make time to box fish, which for some reason takes an incredibly amount of... An, for some reason, takes an incredibly longer amount of time than I ever thought it would. Just catching a pair of guppies and bagging is pretty simple. Make the box, put the styrofoam, get the heat pack, blah, 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 put all the stuff I put in, done. But you need time to print the label. You gotta make sure you have enough inventory. If you're catching something other than guppies, for instance, plecos, in my case, because I have all my plecos are in breeding tanks, uh, it can take some time to catch a few plecos. Sometimes you get lucky and you catch four plecos in you know a minute or two, and sometimes it takes half an hour. It's just how the cookie crumbles, if you will. So let's go over the list again now of just time. You need time to maintain the website. You need time to take pictures and write copy uh, for your website. You need time to bag and box fish. You need time to print the label. You need time to manage your inventory. So, you need money, you need space, you need time. The other thing you need is dedication. If you're not dedicated to the fish room and dedicated to uh, the business, it's gonna fail. <clears throat> so, there's a lot of things that I just jumped into with the fish room that I'm trying to get you guys, if you wanna start a little business, to know. and. Uh, what prompted this video is a visit to my accountant yesterday, and I got a little smack in the face about taxes in my little small business. Um, I decided uh, a couple weeks ago, decided a couple months ago, I'm gonna be legit. I got a New Jersey business license, a tax license. Gives me some benefits like buying wholesale and not paying tax on wholesale stuff. Uh, but it also means I have to pay taxes. So. Important to note, if you're gonna start a business and it's gonna be a legit business, you're gonna need some, there are additional expenses to know, like a business license you have to pay every year. You have to pay taxes quarterly in New Jersey. Um, bunch of other things. So, if you're gonna start a business selling fish, it's not just, oh, I'm gonna breed some guppies and sell them to my local fish store. That might be okay for you, but that's not gonna make enough money um, you know, to make a significant difference in your life. If that's what you're looking for, you really gotta dedicate yourself and dedicate time, space, and money. Sometimes I sit down in front of my computer and I think, I'm just gonna look at a YouTube video. And I pop up a video and boom, something pops into my head about the website. And then I spend an hour, hour and a half managing the website. It's another thing. Kinda have to be a website guy or girl. <clears throat> at least have some basic idea of what to do. If you have to rely on someone else to manage your website, that's gonna be an additional cost and additional time. There are times where I have to call my website guy, Graham from Aquarium Adventures, he's the one that started my website. I had someone else uh, step in and design and, or redesign and, and do a lot of the funky things on it, but he dropped off the face of the earth. So now if I have a problem, I pretty much have to figure it out myself uh, or I have to, you know, email Graham, who's 
uh, a six hour time difference in another country on another continent who has his own life. So he might not be able to help right away. So you have to learn website managing. I don't want to say website design because a lot of these companies make it easy for your website. But I believe I've rambled enough about uh, what you need to start a business selling fish. I hope this didn't bore you. Certainly, if you have questions, you can drop me an email, michaelsfishroom at gmail.com. Um, I've been getting a lot of repeat questions, and uh, it's one of the reasons I did the guppy video uh, on Wednesday. I get to say, ask the same questions over and over, even though I've made two or three videos about it. And so I apologize if you found that video boring. I did have a one comment, one subscriber comment. Hey, you've already told us this. Why are you telling us again? And the reason is simple. I get asked the same questions over and over and over again, which is fine. I get tired of answering them. I get tired of telling people, oh, I made a video about that. Go check this video. So, it's another thing. If you're gonna start a YouTube channel, it's a whole nother video, right? If you're gonna start a YouTube channel, you're gonna need time to answer subscribers. I love interacting with you guys, but it takes time and I don't always have time. All right, ramble over. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out MichaelsFishing.com. Have a great weekend and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Peace. <clears throat> Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Guys, do me a favor before we get started, obliterate that notification button. No. God damn it, I always do that. Hi, right, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Guys, before we get started, you know the drill. Obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently caress, just gently caress the notification bell. And of course, check out michaelsfishroom.com. Still planning on shipping next week, the last orders of the year. So go ahead and get your order in, and hopefully we can ship it. Guys, today we're going to talk about how to make money selling guppies. Now, I have uh, have nothing. Oh, Jesus Christ. <coughs> I'm fine. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fried Fry. You fry. <laughs> And yeah, there are times I call my website guy, Graham from Aquarium Adventures. Wow, 